Hello, I'm going to talk to you about free fall. In free fall, we neglect air resistance. For example, if I have an object and I drop it, that object will fall with an ever-increasing velocity. The acceleration will be 32 feet per second per second, or 9.8 meters per second per second. On the chalkboard here, I have the ball shown at successive time intervals, and the time interval between each of these spots on the chalkboard, these time intervals are equal. So as the ball falls from here to here to here to here, its velocity constantly increases. Now, it turns out that that's true whether the ball is dropped straight down or whether the ball is thrown horizontally. The vertical motion will be the same for the horizontally thrown ball as it will be for the ball that's dropped straight down. Let me illustrate that with a uh, demonstration. I'm going to throw this ball horizontally and then release it at the same time that I release this ball to fall vertically. And you'll want to watch the vertical motions of each ball and compare them. They should be the same at each point in time. So as the two balls fall, they fall at the same rate, 32 feet per second per second, free fall. 